Unit 3, Lesson 14, Solving Percentage Problems. Number 1. For each problem, explain or show your reasoning. A. 160 is what percent of 40? I made a table and I put the percents on the left and the number on the right. 100% of 40 is 40. And if you were to double that, you'd have 200% of 40, which is 80. Double that, and you have 400% of 40, which is 160. 160 is 400% of 40. B. 40 is 160% of what number? I made a double number line and I put 40 on the top and underneath it I put 160%. I decided to divide 160% by 8 because that would give me 20% and it would be very easy for me to multiply that 20% times 5 to turn it into 100% and once I did that I would know the value of the missing number. Since I divided 160% by 8 I must divide 40 by 8. So 40 divided by 8 equals 5. So directly above the 20%, I have the value 5. Now all I have to do is multiply these numbers by 5. 20% times 5 equals 100%, and 5 times 5 equals 25. 100% of the missing number is 25. 40 is 160% of 25. C. What number is 40% 40 of 160? 40% 40 of 160 is what number? 10% is 4 times smaller than 40%, and I know that 10% of 160 is 16. I need to multiply the 10% times 4 to make it 40%, and multiply the 16 times 4, we get 64. So 40% 40 of 160 is 64. Number 2. A store is having a 20% off sale on all merchandise. If Mai buys one item and saves $13, what was the original price of her purchase? Explain or show your reasoning. I take the 20% and multiply it times 5 to get the 100%, and I have to multiply the 13 times 5, and that gets me $65. 100% of the original price is $65. Number 3. The original price of a scarf was $16. During a store closing sale, a shopper saved $12 on the scarf. What percentage discount did she receive? Explain or show your reasoning. I use the above information to help me build a double number line. On the right hand side, you can see I have $16 representing the original price. Since 12 is a multiple of 4, I decided to divide 16 by 4. And since I divided 16 by 4, I have to divide 100% by 4. So on the left hand side, I have $4 represents 25%. And then on the top, I just count by 4, and on the bottom, I just count by 25%. $12 is 75% of $16, so the shopper saved 75%. Number 4. Select all the expressions whose value is larger than 100. A. 120% of 100 is equal to 120, so that would be over 100. D. 20% of 800 is equal to 160, so that would be greater than 100. And F. 500% of 400, that would be worth 2,000, and that's greater than 100. Number 5. An ant travels at a constant rate of 30 centimeters every two minutes. A. At what pace does the ant travel per centimeter? The pace that the ant travels is 2 minutes over 30 centimeters, or 
one fifteenth centimeter per minute. I made a table with the centimeters on the left and the minutes on the right. Two minutes divided by two equals one minute. 30 centimeters divided by 2 equals 15 centimeters. So the speed of the ant is 15 centimeters per minute. Number 6. Is 3.5 cups more or less than 1 liter? Explain or show your reasoning. Note, 1 cup is just about equal to 236 and 6 tenths milliliters. This time I actually decided to draw the cups. So I drew three whole cups and one half a cup. Underneath each cup, I represented milliliters, 236.6 for the first three, and then half of that for the last one, 118.3 milliliters in the half a cup. When you add all those milliliters up, the three and a half cups holds 828 and one tenth milliliter. And that's actually less than one liter because one liter is actually a thousand milliliters. Three and a half cups is less than one liter. Number seven, name a unit of measurement that is about the same size as each object. A, the distance of a doorknob from the floor is about a yard or a meter. B, the thickness of a fingernail is about one millimeter. C. The volume of a drop of honey is about one milliliter. D. The weight or mass of a pineapple is about one kilogram or about one pound. E. The thickness of a picture book is about one centimeter or one inch. F. The weight or mass of a buffalo is about one ton. G. The volume of a flower vase is about one liter or a cup or a quart, depending upon the size of the vase. H. The weight or mass of 20 staples is about one gram. I. The volume of a melon is about one gallon. J. The length of a piece of printer paper is about one foot. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 3, Lesson 14, Solving Percentage Problems. <music>